Much of my work is in the solar sector and it's fantastic to see many large projects building out so successfully across Scotland. One of the most exciting is a 50 megawatt project at Milltown Airfield near Elgin. With full planning permission granted, it will be the largest of its kind in Scotland and will be completed in 2020. As the public's knowledge of climate change increases, it's invigorating to know that renewable energy developers, investors and consultants like myself are working towards a larger goal and that the work we do in Scotland really does have worldwide implications. Recent warnings from the IPCC show we must act even more quickly to tackle climate change. In that context, and with public support for renewables increasing, it's right that we use the best tools at our disposal to cut carbon emissions. With early wind farms starting to reach the end of their 25-year lives, repowering offers an opportunity not only to use more efficient turbines, but also to make sure our industry is as green as it can be. Reusing or repurposing turbines is a great example of how renewables can get involved in the circular economy, creating valuable products from material we'd currently be paying to throw away and leaving an even more positive legacy. Renewables now supply more of Scotland's electricity than any other source. It's now our heat and transport sectors which hold the key to meeting our new 2030 all energy target. Decarbonising both presents a huge opportunity for our industry. Cutting emissions from these challenging sectors will mean using both new and established technologies, building new supply chains and convincing consumers of the benefits of change. Industry and government must now work even more closely together to solve these puzzles at all scales and across all renewable energy technologies. Thank you.